What's good everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite fall perfumes. I just made a video on my channel, all of my favorite fall body mist. So definitely go check that one out. I am so happy it's fall. Usually I'm in like seasonal depression already, like mourning the loss of summer. But honestly, this fall, I'm just so ready for like fall activities and going to wineries and you know, all the fall stuff, apple picking, pumple, pumple? I can't, I literally can't. Pumpkin picking. Anyways, let's get right into this video. So the first fragrance is the sexiest fragrance that I own, probably. This is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. Now, I am obsessed with this. If you want compliments specifically from men or just anyone in general, please get that perfume. I'm telling you, it is life-changing. It's so good. And the lasting power is honestly in my top five, like most long-lasting actual perfumes. Let me know if you guys want a video on that, like my most long-lasting perfumes or, or like body mist. I think I've done that before for body mist, but I don't think perfumes. But this is such a beautiful fragrance. This is your night out in New York. This is fancy dinner, date night, date night with the girls. Like it is one of those that you want to wear if you're going somewhere really fancy. I really believe like fragrance is so personal. So I've worn that perfume literally with hoodies before and a pair of sweatpants. But it is definitely more of your fancy perfume. It has coffee notes in there. It's super warm. It's truly one of a kind. And I know a lot of people are into black opium from, um, I think YSL puts out black opium. And I'm telling you, I know people say there's similarities. Carolina Herrera, good girl, is like three billion times better and more compliment getting i feel like sometimes black opium can give you a headache and carolina herrera is just amazing oh my god my lip gloss all right the next fragrance is c from giorgio armani this is a super unique fragrance has rose in there i'm pretty sure there's woodsy notes in there as well it is definitely different something that doesn't smell like the rest and trust me if you smell the perfume out the bottle and you smell your skin when it's on two different fragrances like truly i like it so much better on the skin because when i first bought it i wasn't so sure about it because out of the bottle i was like hmm but on your skin it is just so beautiful feminine not too overpowering not too strong long lasting it's just a very pretty scent it's giving fall this is you're going to a winery this is you're going pumpkin picking apple picking but you want to smell a little bit more elevated than just a body mist it is stunning and definitely one of a kind. I would truly recommend trying that out. I know there's a few different versions of C, um, but I have the original one. I definitely have to try the other ones because it is so, so beautiful. The next one is White Musk from Jovan. So Jovan White Musk. It is definitely a fragrance that many people would be like, oh, fall, you would think because it's so fresh and like musky. It's more of like summer. But I'm telling you, if you want a fresh fragrance for fall, please get that because the musky notes in there just gives me fall. I truly wear this fragrance all year round. It is so good. It is one of my most affordable perfumes and truly one of my favorites. It gets so many compliments and I just feel fresh and beautiful and I can wear this anywhere. It's definitely a fragrance that you could wear to school or work. It's definitely appropriate for those type of vacations. Of course you could wear it whenever, but I will throw that on during any occasion, like a nice, just simple like top and jeans or even a hoodie and sweats. Like it is just one of those fragrances that can be worn in many different ways. So. I love it, super affordable. You could purchase it from Walmart. I'm obsessed, literally obsessed. Okay, the next one is Fleur from Rihanna. Now, again, another super affordable fragrance that performs like an expensive one. The packaging, I love the look of it, but it's so hard to hold. So I would truly recommend um, Rihanna. Can you just change the packaging, please? Because <laughs> it's kind of annoying, but super beautiful. 
it is a definitely fancy fragrance it is a date night fragrance as well this is you know Christmas time, fall time, you're just walking in the city, you want to smell fancy, you're wearing a pair of heels, a nice pair of jeans, like it is beautiful. So beautiful. It definitely has um, a lot of like patchouli notes in there. So if you're not a fan of patchouli, I would not recommend. I'm pretty sure it's a patchouli note in there um, that's strong. I also always love to pair it with Little Black Party Dress. This smells just like Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo, which is also a super amazing fall fragrance. I'm definitely gonna be including that in my winter favorite fragrances because yes, I love it for fall, but I really love it for winter. That's when I wear it most. But yes, super, super good, long lasting, amazing. Next one is YSL Libra. The reason why I included this is because of the warmth in there. It's such a unique fragrance with the lavender and the warmth. It's perfect for fall and everyday type perfume. You could wear this out, you know, during the day. You could wear this to a casual dinner or a fancy dinner. Definitely if you want a perfume that works well for all different um, occasions that would be a really good one and you can also take that with you into the summer into the winter it's a good all-year-round fragrance but I really gravitate to it during the fall time it's just beautiful the next fragrance is very sexy oasis I love this stuff like love this stuff it is so sexy and beautiful this is like you're going to your man's house or you're going to a fancy dinner. Literally, I wear this all the time. I have the rollerball. I need to buy the actual um, perfume itself. But um, it is so good. It's amazing. I've never smelled a perfume like it. It's so original. But I'm going to read you guys what it says on Victoria's Secret. This has white florals, tuberose, and orange flower. And camellia i'm not sure what that fragrance note is so definitely let me know um you guys are always so knowledgeable when i ask you like what a certain thing smells like i always like you guys always answer my questions and make it very like simple and break it down for me um and it says it all comes together in a creamy exotic bouquet and truly that's what makes sense it says balanced by a hint of bright citrus at the top and layered on a foundation of succulent greens and earthy woods white floral is the luxurious private escape you deserve it is just stunning i love that they use the word exotic because that's what it gives it's an exotic fragrance that's the best way to you know explain it those notes in there when they all come together you're like almost confused on what notes are in there because it's just so special and like one of a kind it is amazing if you want compliments please get this fragrance like please the last one is replica by the fireplace i actually have the candle in this and it is so good thank you zach for buying that for me last christmas but it is an outstanding fragrance that lasts really long on the skin by the fireplace is such an amazing gourmand fragrance super beautiful it says that the scent type is warm and sweet gourmand keynote clove oil chestnut accord and vanilla accord and it says this warm scent combines orange flower clove oil and chestnut which makes a lot of sense i picked that up um atop a comforting vanilla fragrance to recreate the signature warmth and coziness of a crackling fire it is so beautiful it is just beautiful i'm obsessed if you love warm fragrances, vanilla fragrances, you will adore this fragrance. Might I add, if you don't like super warm fragrances, then you probably won't vibe with that, like, at all. Because it's very, very warm. And usually I'm not into the warmest of warm fragrances, but that for sure is amazing. And please buy it in the candle, you guys, because the candle, outstanding. I love the bubble bath candle, too. They're all just so good. I wanted to leave you guys off with a message of encouragement. I was really sitting down and thinking about all the seasons of our lives, you know? It's funny we're talking about fall in this video and the switch of the seasons and just new chapters in our lives. And sometimes when we're in a season where we feel stagnant, it is so frustrating because 
you feel like you can't get out of that stagnant area whether that's you know you're not making the amount of money that you want and you're looking for a job and it seems like you can't find a job or you lost some friends you don't have any friends right now you feel lonely you feel like you're not going to be able to meet anyone and there's no way of meeting anyone and it could be any situation in your life where you're feeling stagnant i promise you this is a season life is always in seasons and it's always changing and i promise you you may not see an owl you may not see life getting better or changing but it will i've experienced that a lot in my life the feeling of just being stagnant and i promise you every single time i feel that way give it a couple months give it a week give it a year god changes that because god loves us so so much he does not want you to be miserable he does not want you to stay stagnant he wants you to grow and sometimes in order to grow you need to be alone you need to be stagnant you need to lean on him and it's so important to keep reminding yourself that this is a season in your life we're all going through seasons and you're not alone that was heavy on my heart today and i wanted to share with you guys so i hope you took something from it Anyways, I love you guys the absolute most. Definitely let me know any of your video ideas down below or if you just want to chat and say, hey, I love hearing from you guys. There are so many blessings on the way and there are so many blessings in front of you. You just haven't looked hard enough yet. All right, you guys, I love you so, so much and I'll see you in my next one.